Hi everyone! My name is Katie and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to do uh, recreating some of my old art. Because once upon a time, many moons ago, I was in high school. <laughs> and in high school I took a few art classes. And painted this thing. And I remember really liking it in high school and being super proud. But of course as I look at it now I feel there's a lot of stuff I would have done differently. So I decided I want to repaint it and see how much I have improved or changed the way I do stuff. So that's what we're gonna do and let's get started. Okay so today we are using acrylic paint. It's the Atelier um, Interactive Acrylic by Chroma which means it is acrylic paint but it has an extended time where it can be reactivated with water to help with a blending and just keeping the paint wet. It's supposed to kind of be like a way to make acrylic paints more like oil paints, which I thought was really cool because I love oil paints. Uh, I don't feel like it works exactly the way I would want it to at least because when you do use the water to reactivate it, it obviously thins the paint and instead of just being able to blend it with the other paint, it kind of comes, feels like it comes off of the canvas. So it's a really, it's a good idea, but I just don't think it works the way I wanted it to at least. And look at that yellow. That is not the color I used. <laughs> it looks like super neon in this on the camera, but it's not quite that bright in real life. So I really struggled with the clouds for a while. Like you'll see me make the clouds and then pretty soon I just smush them all together again and start over because I just felt kind of out of practice on my clouds. I think what it was is I have been working with oil every time I paint on canvas pretty much so I kind of forgot how to do clouds in acrylic and I was trying to do them the way I do them in oils and it just wasn't working because the paint would dry. I felt like I had to do acrylic though because the original one in high school was done with acrylic paint. So if I used oil, it's not like recreating because I could make it look much better because it's oil paint. So. I didn't change the painting too much. I kind of just uh, went with the same general idea, except that I added the dolphins instead of just the tail of whatever that was supposed to be in the first one. A dolphin or whale or I don't know it was just a tail so I don't know. I just I did not like the clouds. Here I'm kind of this is where I kind of decided to just smush them together and paint restart because they just were not blending the way I wanted and they were looking kind of 
just chunky and weird. So I mixed them all together and then it's they look all muddy and gross so I had to go back in with some colors again. And I'm using that fan brush because that is a good brush to just like smush the paint around I feel like and make the make it blend a little bit on the canvas into a cloud like shape so now i'm putting some pretty good highlights into the darker cloud color and i feel like they all already look better than they did In acrylic paint, clouds are really hard. And then after I got the clouds in, I kind of had to go back in and re-brighten up the background too because that kind of got some a little muddy because of the smooshing of the clouds I did they're going back in to brighten up some of that magenta color that's another thing that I tend to do when I paint with acrylic is use my finger to blend sometimes because that just works for what I want it to I feel like I struggled a little bit getting the background colors here too. Overall, the sky was harder than I was anticipating. And I am doing this on an eight by 10 canvas board. The original was quite a lot bigger Maybe an 11 by 12, maybe even bigger than that. I'm not sure. But I didn't want to go quite that big for this video. And then the rocks right here. And now eventually I put a little waterfall in there. Uh, unfortunately, I was painting them out of the camera screen for a while before I noticed. So they, that's why they kind of just appear there but I do kind of like how they turned out with the highlights on the rocks. Let's just think it's pretty. Starting in on the water in the original painting the water is orange right next to the sky so that's what I did here and I do I, the water seemed to go easier than the sky for me for sure and then I just keep getting darker at the closer you get to the front of the canvas. I think it looks like a scene like on another planet or something. It looks cool. <laughs> I don't remember where I originally got the reference for my, when I painted this in high school. Um, he, my art teacher had a bunch of magazines that we would look through and we could pick our reference that way or we could find it from home somewhere. I don't remember where I found mine. Probably in one of his magazines. In the days before everyone had a smartphone or a tablet to look up references. <laughs> Just 
And here I'm putting in a planet because there's some planets in the very top of the one I did in high school. Oh, and now I'm working on the dolphins jumping in the water. Which took me a while. And this, I have this sped up a lot and it still looks like I'm kind of painting slow because I kept stopping to think and plan what I was doing. Because I don't think I've ever painted a dolphin before actually. And then I was also trying to make it kind of look like it was wet. I don't know if I accomplished that though. And then on the first one I did do some water droplets off the tail into the water and then I hated how that looked so I ended up covering that up. It's funny how sometimes even as you're painting it, you can just tell that you're going to hate it. <laughs> but sometimes you keep going and you end up liking it, so it's... You can't just stop right away. See? I mean, that looks like lightning coming out of his tail or something. <laughs> so, I end up repainting that. This kind of reminds me of like Lisa Frank in the 90s, a little bit, with the bright colors. I'm sure she had some dolphins in her stuff too. And there's a dolphin sticking his head out of the water. But uh, we're getting close to the end of the video here, so I think I will just let the video play out and uh, thank you all for watching and making it this far and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.